Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to join the Apple Developer Program for free. So this does not require the $99 per year subscription service in order to deploy apps. However, the Apple Developer Program has its own benefits, one of them being the ability to deploy Apple beta software for iOS, iPadOS, macOS, etc. But also being able to download tools and applications which are only available for Apple developers. So today I'm going to show you how to join this for free and get access to all of these benefits so you can make use of some of the software. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is go to developer.apple.com and this is going to take us to the Apple developer website and basically what we want to do is to click on this account button here and this is going to ask us to sign into Apple developer. So what I'm going to do is to create a new Apple ID and then enroll this from scratch just to show you how easy it is and how you can do it for free. So here I'm going to press create yours now what we're going to do is to create a brand new Apple ID. Then we're going to enter the capture and then continue. Then we're going to verify our email address. Then we're going to enter the code that we received in our email. So now this is the important part. This is the Apple developer agreement. So if you signed into any other account, I had to create a new one from scratch. But basically, if you sign up to any account, this is just a one time process. We must agree to the Apple developer agreement. And then I'm going to click here. By checking this box, I agree to be banned by the agreement above. I'm going to uncheck this for spam and then press submit. And et voila, we have a developer account now. And you don't actually have to make a payment in order to get this to work. And basically, we can't do things like submit applications to the App Store. But what you can do is to open up Xcode, go to preferences accounts and then we can add the account that we just created and it'll be a developer account so here we can log in and now the developer account has been added to xcode so we can now do things like sideload applications we can also do things like download beta versions of the operating system for mac os or ios and we can also download additional tools as well this is only available for developer accounts we can download beta versions of software for ios ipad os mac os tv os and watch os and then deploy them onto our devices and we can also do things like download additional tools for Xcode and this is only available for Apple developer accounts. Anyway I hope you found this video useful if you did please like please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.